What's up guys and gals? My name is Zaxby Sauce and welcome to Heat Signature Episode 1. So this is a fairly new game. Uh, came out about a week ago. It was in beta before that, closed alpha before that. You may have seen a few uh, YouTubers do some videos in the closed alpha portion. Um, it was very exclusive closed alpha. I signed up on like five different emails, never got an invite. I did eventually get an invite to the closed beta. Um, played around with it a little, little bit during that, uh, submitted some feedback, uh, not sure if that was seen or uh, or acted upon, but um, anyway, here we are in the full release of Heat Signature. Uh, he, he, the, uh, this is from the guys that made Guy Guys, I'm not sure if it's a team or one, one person uh, that made Gunpoint, and um, still been hitting up pretty pretty frequently. Every, every morning I'll have an update uh, for it, so uh, there are still some issues, uh, I suppose, that they're, they're working on and fixing. Um, seems to be a pretty active developer. Uh, and like I said, uh, from the makers of Gunpoint, which is an, was an amazing game, and, uh, and Heat Signature has been really good so far too, so uh, I would encourage you that if this video looks like something that's interesting, uh, something you might want to play, uh, go out and get it, because it's, uh, it's well worth it. It's very cheap on Steam. Uh, I want to say it's 15 bucks or less. I don't remember exactly how much. Uh, I can look that up and put that in the description. Uh, but again, it's a very cheap game, but well worth it. Um, it is uh, procedurally generated uh, parts of it, so um, you know the, the replayability is pretty high, and uh, and your character's um, death is uh, is permanent, but not that big a deal. So uh, when you die, you lose that character, but you can then start uh, the game as a different character. You don't have to uh, completely restart. You would lose everything you had gained on that character, but I, I do believe you keep everything in your stash upon death. So uh, anything you don't actually need to take into the missions, you want to you want to put in that stash to make sure you have it because you will die on some of the harder missions. Um, there there are scenarios where uh, where you're going to die, um, and and you do have to do the harder missions. It's not a it's not a case where you can keep doing easies over and over again. Um, you, you will eventually get to a point where there won't be any easy emission, missions available, and you'll have to do those hard ones. So. Uh, starting off, you get a, a, a selection of four characters sitting at the bar here. You can pick any one of them to play as, and you can hold your mouse over each one of them if you want to see what they have, uh, what their stats are on the right side of the screen. You can see their lifetime stats, what their personal mission is, and how much it's going to cost to run that mission. Uh, and on the left, it shows what kind of weaponry they are currently uh, they currently have. So this guy has a wrench and a shotgun. Uh, that's Octans Gyasi, probably. Jamerion Jounce, which is an awesome name, uh, I really like that, has a wrench and a long-range swapper. So, uh, wrench is a, uh, a non-lethal weapon, makes a lot of noise, has a pretty good um, striking range, uh, and, uh, but again, it's, it's, like I said, it's non-lethal, um, and there are missions that require you to not kill anyone, so you do need a non-lethal weapon with you a lot of the time. And uh, he has a long-range swapper, which is like a little teleport device. Uh, Simple Antares is a guy I've actually I've, I've played the game with a little bit. Um, you can see on, on his lifetime stats on the right, he's got 29 kills, so uh, so not not too much playing on him. Uh, and he's got a long blade, which is a lethal version of the wrench. Basically, doesn't make much noise. Same general striking distance, um, and obviously kills the person. Uh, and a high capacity emergency shield, a few other items. We're not going to play as him today. I'm uh, going to start a brand new guy. And then we have Babu Petri, who has a wrench and a concussive gun. A concussive gun is a non-lethal pistol. doesn't make much noise, uh, but again, it's non-lethal. So, with those four characters, uh, I think I'm going to go with Babu. Eh, well, maybe Jamarion's got a much cooler name. Hmm. Ah, let's go with Jamarion. Screw it. I don't really like the swapper, but uh, I'll get something to replace it later. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is your, uh, this is a uh, you know, standard WASD moves you around. You look in the direction of the mouse, so your guy keeps his, uh, his positioning, even, if, even though so, like, my body's turned the wrong direction. Basically, physical impossibility of the style of running he's doing, that's fine. Uh, this is your starting station. Uh, we have a miscellaneous shop, a gadget shop, a gun shop, an explosive shop, a pod shop, where you can buy the little pods that you fly around in, and a stash. Now, I have played a little bit of the game previously, and it saved my progress from the beta, so I have a few extra stations unlocked than you're going to start with when you start the game. Uh, there's also a practice terminal, so as you can see here on the pod shop, Offworld Angel is already unlocked, 
and it's a nice pod that adds a little extra functionality to your baseline pod. Um, this is the drop-off point, so if a mission requires you to bring back a person or a thing, you can drop them off right there. That's your strategy map. I can look at a map of the universe and see uh, the stations that I've unlocked and the stations that may be coming up from unlock soon. This is your personal mission person. We can go over there and talk to them, and uh, that will start us on a chain for our personal mission. Now, we need 200 credits. Every single person in the game needs 200 credits in order to even get going on your personal mission. You can talk to them right now, and they'll tell you, I'll get started. Bring me 200 credits when you're ready. So no point in really even talking to them yet we really need to just do some missions and get some money so if I go look at my stash I can see uh, I don't have anything in my stash so I also have four credits to my name so I need some missions so I'm gonna go to job listings here so after taking a phone call which was a very rude interruption uh, we can continue with our mission selection so since the first mission we're gonna be running I'm gonna just select the easy mission here so you can see the mission details on the right. On the left, you'll see the pay is 11 credits. That's not great. Uh, but on the right, we have mission details. So, assassinate Sunshine Truth. That's good. An assassination mission because, uh, actually, no, I think I have a wrench. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Uh, so assassinate someone. No alarm response. So even if I alert the guards, the guards uh, can't do, really do anything about it other than try to kill me. Uh, the ship is not going to turn tail and run to the local, to the nearest uh, enemy starbase, uh, thereby just basically killing my character. Uh, the worst they can do is knock me out and toss me out the airlock, and, and you can recover from that. If you are captured, though, uh, there's basically no recovery. I think there are recovery missions later where you could possibly liberate that character if you happen to also liberate that space station. I haven't gotten to that point yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, there's few guards here, so no big deal, not a lot of guards. The guard kit is a wrench, so who cares? Bosses have a key card uh, and a concussive gun. So, we're all good there. I can hit accept. I've accepted the mission. Now, we go over to the docking bay and we hit E. And there's my pod. And you can see I click the left mouse button and I go in the direction the arrow is pointing. Um, I, and I accidentally just redocked. So, let's go back over here. Back in there. There we go. Alright, so, now we're going to head in that direction towards the arrow, towards the assassinate. And you can scroll in and out to zoom in and out. You can hold F to speed up time by about six times I think and you can right click to match your speed to that of the closest valid target so one thing you want to watch out for is little vision cones on the ships this one doesn't have one but if the vision cones see you the ship will go into an alarm state and also may fire on you I'm not positive on that one so looking through here only two guards and a captain of the ship now if an alarm goes off in a ship the captain will attempt to take the ship to the nearest uh, enemy docking station um, and if you kill him before he does that then the ship will kind of fly off course and will never dock and you'll be fine even if the alarm goes off. So what I'm going to do is run through really quickly, assassinate, not assassinate because it's a wrench so I can't kill that guy, but I did manage to grab uh, his key card from him so all of the doors in the base are unlocked even though there are no doors so that whatever. So I grab this guy, knock him out, run over here, knock the captain out, all good to go, ship secured. So I sit in the captain's chair, there are no missiles, you can right click for missiles on some of the ships. So I hit F, and that sends, sets a course to the nearest friendly station, hold down F to speed up time, we dock, and see I'm carrying the uh, unconscious guy now, so I take him over the drop point, hit E. Objective seems to be alive, but we can fix that. So. It was bloodless. I was an enigma. No one, no one living saw me. Silent. No alarms triggered. I didn't suffer any injuries, and my total pay is 11 credits. So we're well on our way to the 200 needed for the personal mission. So now I'm going to go over the job listings again, and uh, let's let's see. No, they've got shields. That's not good. I don't have anything I can do that with. Let's go to medium then. Steal a contraption, that's fine. No alarm, that's good. A few guards is good. The guards have key cards and guns, that's fine. And the bosses have guns. This should be a pretty easy one, even though it's listed as medium. So 18 credits. Let's go ahead and accept that. I'm going to run over here, and there we go. Okay. So, we're going to steal something from this ship. And these are the vision cones I was referencing earlier. Um, yep, there you go see those vision cones if I were to run up next to one of those the ship would go on alert although bouncing into the ship doesn't go on alert for some reason in space no one can hear you slam against the ship I suppose so let's 
a little free credit and some ammo. That's nice. So there are guards down here, and this guard is kind of chilling in this area. Okay, he is going to move. That's good. I was trying to figure out how I would get past him. All right, so, and step, and fire. Good to go. So I'm going to pick up his gun. Now I'm going to run through here, grab this guy before he runs away. And that's going to give me access to the rest of the ship. Now I'm going to, yep, I'm going to run through here and grab the captain quickly. Okay, I can't capture the ship. I'm just wanting to grab the body. Okay, there we are. Now, where's this fella going? Got him. Get that out of the way. One more. Obviously, at this point, I could just take this, the, the object and leave, but I'd rather just neutralize all the crew and uh, take the whole ship. That way you get any bonuses for any items that are on the ship that can be turned in. So, set a course for the nearest friendly station. Hold down F, and boom, got it. So, sold contents of Sovereign Ship Gordo for six credits. So, it's an extra six credits, not great. Go over to the drop point, hit E, and I get my 18 credits. whoop de doo So, let's hit that job board again. What do we got? Bloodless cause, mini sentry guns, very low, so I can't kill anyone. I need to assassinate one person, but no one else. Very low resp alarm response time, 35 seconds. Mini sentry guns, but they do have few guards. Well, the bosses are wearing armor, which means I can't do that. They don't have anything that can penetrate armor currently. So let's look at this one. Uh, Non-lethal weapon required, that's fine. I gotta capture him, okay. No alarm response, I like that. A few guards. The guards only have a concussive gun. The bosses have a wrench and a heat sensor. So this little heat sensor, uh, if you come in range of the boss, the heat sensor, the boss will know you're there and they'll turn and start looking for you. They won't They won't know exactly where you are and they won't set up the alarm until they see you, but they will start looking for you. So it makes it a little more difficult, but it's not, uh, it's not that big a deal. So I'm going to hit accept on that one because it's a lot of credits. I'm going to hit E and I'm going to take off in that direction, hold down F, right click, slow myself down, right click again, slow myself down again. Yep. Over and over. Oh, okay. Well, that worked. Hmm. Alright, let's just go ahead and get out. Fortune favors the bold. Yep. Got him. Okay. I'm just gonna drop him off in my pod here. Oh, oh, shit. Did not see that sentry gun. Wow. It's not good. Oh! I will admit that that one was... Oh, shit! Alright, that one was my bad. We almost screwed up royally there. Okay, so, um, let me check the contents of this. What do you got? Long range crash beam. Uh, I guess it's not that bad. Let me, uh... How did I... Oh, space bar. Uh, so I'm gonna set that to right click, and I can turn off turrets with that, so it's not bad. And this turret should spin in just a moment, allowing me to run through here and grab this guy. Which is to kill him right there. I'm gonna run down here. He is very close to setting off the alarm, so I need to get him from behind so he doesn't see me. That's what she said. Probably. I don't know. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Just go. Okay. the alarm, the ship will not go to a friendly station, so I'm good to go there. And intruder, they both saw me. That's, that's not great. I'll pick him up, sit him right here. Yep, okay. Well, that worked out better than I thought it was going to. I'm going to run through here, knock this guy out, yep, just like that. And through here, bam, got him. And now I'm going to go sit down in this this, and then you can see, I can shoot missiles now, they're very fast. Pew, pew, pew. Well, this one actually doesn't shoot them very quickly. So I can actually drive this ship, just like my pod, if I want to. Um, I can't hit F to, uh, to set the course for the nearest station, unfortunately, because it will, uh, it will, oh, there's somebody. I want to, I've never actually shot another ship with these missiles, I want to kind of see what that does. So I'd love to, okay. Yep, yep, this is taking a 
little longer than expected. Okay, I really, I probably need to start decelerating in the opposite direction now, or it's going to take forever. And hopefully this ship didn't despawn in the intervening period. Um, hmm. Well, shoot. Well, crap. It did despawn. Okay, so... I really wanted to shoot somebody with these missiles. Okay, well, whatever. We'll hold F, go to the nearest station. Alright, so, two credits for the crap that was on that ship. Drop him off. Bloodless. 32 credits. Nicely done. Hit space. We're at 76 credits. We are, you know, like a third of the way there, roughly. Alright, what do we got? Another medium mission. Alarm response time, few guards. Guards wrench, boss's gun. Good to go. I'll accept that. And, uh, let's go to miscellaneous shop. Yeah, I want that long blade, so I'm going to grab that. This is not a uh, mission where I have to. I'm, not, I'm actually going to go to the pod shop and grab the off-world angel pod also. This is not a mission where I have to... Why do I still have the wrench out? Okay, whatever. It's not a mission where I have to keep it bloodless. Oh, that's a nice looking pod. Look at that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright, so... We're gonna head right on over here. Oh, and overshoot them. Okay, good job. Now, not overshoot anymore. Perfect, perfect. All right, well, bounce off, that's fine. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I have a lethal weapon, so I I can use this wrench to, uh, not wrench, long blade to cut the heads off or whatever, you know. It's really up to me. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, knock out this guy. And by knock him out, I mean kill him. And then I'm going to go do the same thing to his friend here. Gotcha. Yep, that was good. I'm just going to stick his body right there. I'm going to run over here and knock out the captain. It's like, okay. Nope, nope, nope. All right. That way, even if I do set off an alarm, I'm fine. Nope. Free kill right here. So I'm just going to run over here. Oh, no. Nope. His friend might have been able to see me if I had done that. Oh, shit. Yep, got him. Okay. Alright. Now we'll just run like this. Bam, gotcha. I got the key. What are you... Oh, hello. I don't know why that's in well. Alright, rechargeable subverter. That's actually really good. So, the rechargeable ones, um, they recharge every time you go to a friendly station, you get an extra charge. Whereas the normal ones, when you run out of charges, they're useless. Um, so this makes turret shields and other electronics work against their owner. That's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely gonna put that one in and make that my right click. And um, don't have anything to try it on right now, so whatever. Let's just run over there. Uh, kill this last guy. Two guys. Couple many are over here. I can probably do a twofer right here. So bam and bam. Got you both. Nicely done. That's done. I'm not gonna pick him up. I'm going to take this ship back to back to base, just like I always do, just in case, you never know. You don't normally get a few extra credits here and there. So, is there anyone near me? Is there? Are there any other ships that I could shoot some... Ooh, look at those missiles. Dang, those are fast. I mean, they... they you can shoot them quickly. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, come on, turn around, baby, turn around! Be, don't fail me now. Nope. No! Oh, he docked at that, that station right there. Okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. One day. One day. I'm... Oh, I've already docked, so I'm too late. <sighs> okay, I'll drop this guy off. 22 credits. Continue. So, liberation's available. I can now unlock... I can make more, um, more star bases fall under my control. So if I hit E to view the strategy map, now each of the star bases comes with its own bonus for unlocking it. So, for instance, this one. If I unlock this star base, I will uh, concussive guns will permanent be permanently available in all our shops. Uh, this one doesn't do anything in particular. This one 
unlocks the special defector. Uh, oh, makes long range key cloners permanently available in all our shops. That's actually that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, what about this one? Medium capacity subverters permanently available. It's not bad. It'll give me 100 credits and add 2 credits to all future characters' starting funds. That's not... That's, oh, crap. I hit W. Okay. Sorry. Alright, so... Um, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Alright, whatever. Anyway, um... Concussive grenade launchers... 100... Nothing... Oh, a new character, I guess. Um... 100 credits... And nothing. So... What do you got here? Concussion hammers. I do want a concussion hammer. Sidewinder teleporters. And it's purple. Why are they all purple? What is the glitcher's tick? Wow, press use to teleport straight to its ship's airlock. That's pretty cool. The foundry brick. Can ram ships hard enough to physically smash a whole room, also damaging the pod? The brick never needs to resort to emergency fuel. That's kind of cool, too. Um, let's, I guess let's head in this direction. Alright, so, bada bing, bada boom, now I have a new station. Concussive grenades, no, guns, sorry, are added to shops. Mistake missions, so wildly difficult that you need to be brilliant, superbly equipped, and a little bit stupid to take them on. They pay the kind of money you have to pay a professional for something that will probably kill them. Hmm, interesting, alright. Let's see how much they pay. Mistake, 108 credits, Enigma Claws. This has a time limit? The guards have emergency shields. The bosses have permanent shields. Wow. Hmm. That's probably not a good idea. Let's let's check on this hard one. Okay, I could I could probably do this one. No alarm response. Mini sentry guns. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, let's accept this one. First hard mission. Alright, head off in this direction. Okay, nope. Yep, there we go. Oh crap, I was on the wrong side. Oh, it's like Moonlander. It hit the jets just right. Okay, perfect. Alright. And well that's not great. That is. None of, none of this is none of this is great currently. This is this is all bad. Converting that thing would be um, would be a positive, a net positive, if I could get in there without them seeing me. And that's subverted. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Wow. They both dashed to their own death. I thought they were coming after me. That's pretty sweet. I have never used the subverter before. So, uh, what do you got in the cargo crate here? Rechargeable high capacity stealth shield hides you from all enemies and sentries in the direction you're facing. Wow, this stays on for five seconds. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll keep that for sure. It's still, no, that's still mine. All right, that's cool. Hello. Goodbye. That's it for you, buddy. All right, so there's no point in keeping this uh, rechargeable subverter on. So let's use the stealth shield. There's only one charge on that rechargeable one. So, um. or I would have been hit by that turret. And... Okay. Alright, he saw me. Uh, okay, these are... Right. Yep. Yep. Okay, so... You hit space. They throw you out into space. You can see I'm right here, bleeding to death. You have 30 seconds in which to grab your pod, which you can remote pilot, so I think you're unconscious. No, you're passing out in 20. So them kicking you out in space wakes you back up. You can remote control your pod. So I have the off-world angel, so I'm going to hit that. Now, I need to fly to myself and pick myself up. So I'm going to do this. Yep, just like that. Yep, got it. Now, 
the Angel prevented lasting damage. Normally, every time you get knocked out and thrown out of a spaceship, it uh, causes you to have less time to pick yourself up the next time it happens. With the off-world Angel, that doesn't happen. I'm just gonna... Wow, that thing works when you're killing people too? Holy crap. That seems overpowered. So... near any of my stations, so I, again, am not going to get the opportunity to fire this thing at the real ship, so I'm just going to hold down F. No, I see. Where are we going? Where the hell are we going? Holy shit. It's another ship. Fire the thrusters. Fire the thrusters. Oh, man. We may just do it. We may just do it. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Oh. Oh, it's a fight. It's a fight now. Oh, get some. Oh, no. Crap. I just failed the mission. God, I can't hit this thing. Hey, there we go. Okay. Alright, well, I failed the mission, so... That's unfortunate. So, I get four credits, and that's it. Great. Okay, so, anyway, that is Heat Signature. If you'd like to see more of these, uh, let me know. Drop a comment, like, subscribe. Um, whatever it is you do on YouTube to let people know you'd like to see more of their content. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.